Okay, let's multiply radicals again. And once again, distribution is the way we're going to begin. 1 times 8 is 8, and 3 times 2 is 6. So here I'm going to have 8 root 6. Plus, we have to multiply this together. 7 times 1 is 7, and 32 times 3 would be 96, I believe. Okay, so these are not the same radicals, and I'm not sure what goes in the 96 in my list. But I do have a little bit of um, a way to figure it out. Odds are 6 goes into it. So let's divide 96 by 6 and see if the um, answer happens to be in my perfect square list. 96 divided by 6 is 16, and it is in my list, so that's perfect. Let's use the square root of 16 times the square root of 6, and then don't forget there's a 7 right there that's coming down. So the 96 became 16 times 6. So I have 8 root 6 plus 7, 16... 7 times the square root of 16 times 6. The square root of 16 is 4, so 7 times 4 root 6 equals 28 root 6. I have the 8 root 6 that will be added to the 28 root 6, and 8 plus um, 28 would be 36 root 6. Keep those radicands. Now, I know 36 is perfect, and sometimes students will try to make that a 6, but there's no radical sign above that, so you do not do so. 